Hey guys, Chris here and welcome to the launch of the Hongxi HS9. This is a very, very interesting large electric SUV. These two plus two more are the four first, well, pre-production cars here in Europe. And in today's video, we're gonna, well, give you guys a tour of this car on the exterior and on the interior, and then we're gonna take it for a test drive. So this is going to be a very interesting and cool video so hit that like button down below and also guys subscribe to the channel if you aren't subscribed already i appreciate it a lot thank you very much for those of you who don't know Hongxi is a luxury division of the faw group one of the largest automakers in the world actually they're like number nine or something and talking about large this thing is huge look at this this is 5.21 meters long 1.73 meters tall it's more than two meters wide and also ground clearance of about yeah 20 centimeters this is a huge luxury suv this thing is very important impressive the one we're driving today the hs9 this is the exclusive so it has a 90 kilowatt hour net battery capacity more than 500 horsepower and it should have a wltp range of 436 kilometers zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.9 seconds i'm going to throw up some numbers on the screen of the different variants but we're going to take a look inside but we have somebody familiar it's the original ev ninja who is this this is <laughs> this is bjorn you guys know who he is i'm his apprentice as you guys like to tell me he's the original he's the og but today he's taking a passenger seat because I'm going to be the one who's going to test drive this first. But guys, look at this. This is an impressive interior. This thing, fully equipped like this, six-seater exclusive with the big battery pack, all the bells and whistles. It's like 821,000 kroners. But this thing starts at like 619,000. And for that, that is very, very impressive. Look at the materials. Look at the quilted leather. Everything looks and feels nice. This looks real premium. Look at this steering wheel with leather on this steering wheel. Look at these seats. Oh my God, this thing is super impressive. And look at this handsome Asian. <laughs> he's, he's, I think he's like 100K extra. Oh yeah. <laughs> this, this is proper premium. Yeah. Impressive, right? Yes. The German killer. Yeah, I think so. The Chinese are coming strong now. They're looking at the Germans and all of the other manufacturers. But look at this, guys. So we have a triple, no, we have a quadruple screen setup. We have one 16-inch screen here, a 16-inch screen in the middle, and then a 16-inch screen over there. And then we have this small one, which is nine, nine inches. It's the HVAC. And look at this beautiful wood, wood. Everything just looks nice. And this also looks a little bit like an Audi switch gear. You know, the FAW group, they make about... I think it's like almost 2 million Volkswagen Audis for the Chinese market. So they do like a joint venture. And guys, we're going to take a look at the, in the back seat. This is my friend Hans, Hans Vidal from Nubil Tested. I'm just sleeping. He's just sleeping. I'm going to link his channel in the description box down below, guys. And also, of course, Bjorn's channel will be in the link uh, down below. He is a Norwegian uh, also car tester, has his own YouTube channel, makes awesome content. And he... Yeah, it, only in Norwegian, but about 20% of my viewers are Norwegian. So I'm going to send a lot of traffic your way. But you're, you're pretty tall, right? How tall are you? Uh, well, I'm 184 yeah. centimeters, but um, I have a big ass and a <laughs> long back. So I, can, I take up way more space than a normal guy. Uh, than yeah. And is this and seat sat this. all the way back? Yeah, look at this. Look at this space, guys. Yeah, I'm in front of my knees also. I, yeah. I try to take it this all is, the way. It can't go any further. No. Does it go? How far back does it go? Let's see. Yeah, this is impressive. Look, look at this huge. This is huge. Look at this. You can dance back here. Yeah, look at this. So we have two seats also in the back. This is the six seater, but you can also get it in a seven seater. But look at these materials, guys. This is proper luxury. Look at this. Wow. And also the doors are soft close. I apologize. Look at this, look at this. Wow. So what do you guys think? Is this an impressive car at this price point? So far, yeah. Yeah. Getting to know it now. So I think we're gonna wrap up now the tour. Oh, I'm gonna show you guys the trunk. Sorry, we're not gonna wrap it up yet. Look at this, this is huge. So we don't have any official numbers yet, but look how huge this is. If you want to see me laying in the trunk as a bed, you have to go to Bjorn's channel and watch this video, but this thing is huge. 
So we're gonna close, no way, this is Audi. This is Audi switch gear. I recognize this. This is the same buttons I have on my e-tron, isn't it? It feels Audi. I think they are stealing, or stealing, borrowing some Audi switch gear because there's a lot of inspiration here. So I think we're gonna round up this, uh, oh, the front. How do we open the front? Double underscore. <laughs> okay, just gonna show you guys. So this is a prototype. Uh, the frunk wasn't even a thing that they wanted to do before this car came to the European market. But you have that large, large trunk. And then we also have a frunk. You guys can see here, this is a prototype. So we're gonna close this up now. We're gonna hop in. Oh, just one exterior. I, I sorry, I'm sorry guys, if this is a little bit chopped up and like non-linear, but yeah. So we're gonna hop in now and we're gonna take this thing for a test drive because I'm so curious to see how this thing drives. Okay, we're gonna take this thing for a test drive now. And luckily I have Bjorn who is my cameraman. Uh, wow, turning radius. Look at this. That's impressive, this thing is huge. So how does it feel from the passenger seat there, Bjorn? Oh, this is not out. I think I drove wrong. Yeah. It's, it's just super comfy here. Yeah, wow. So this is on, this is the HS9 exclusive six seater, fully specced, and it has air suspension. But this, wow, that's not bad, the turning radius for the being as this big. Everything feels very light. But it's interesting because that mirror is dipped and I have no mirror controls over here. Hmm. Okay. So, so we're, we are on Nokia and Hackablit R3s. I think I saw the winter tires. Yep. The other press car, they have uh, uh, Continental. No, no, Michelin X Ice. Yeah. X, yeah, the, yeah, they are quiet. Okay, so they wanted us to go to the right. So, I don't know, this interior is super impressive. I'm not a huge fan of the exterior design. So, Hans Vidar, what do you think about the exterior design? Well, I think it's kind of fun that they make a car that you kind of, either you sort of hate it or you love it. Uh, <laughs> I, I like when car makers dare to do that. Yeah. yeah, interesting. So, what do you think about the exterior, Bjorn? Well, I think, oh, sorry, um, I think it's interesting. It's, it, it just looks big, of course. It has a cool look, uh, just just different. Yeah, yeah, sorry, a microphone is over Microphone here. is over <laughs> here, yeah, this is not, yeah. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll adjust the gains, but yeah, you just, uh, yeah. They, they can choose to make it like an egg, like Tesla, or they can just make it like a brick <laughs> like this one. So why not, why go for it? So what was the drag coefficient of this? <laughs> this is a point Zero, three, four, five. <laughs> so that, that's about the drag coefficient of like the Empire State Building, I think. <laughs> yes. It makes uh, Volvo XC90 look uh, aerodynamic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what is impressive is the way this thing drives. So they have intentionally built their headquarters inside Drammen with a lot of traffic. So we're g going through traffic now, but I mean, this feels like a proper luxury car. So I'm testing now the BYD Tang, which is about the same price as this. This is so much more impressive. Seriously, the BYD Tang feels like, I don't know, a cheaper car at, that's like five years older. But I don't know, I'm not, I think the, the, the exterior design is a bit too much. And is it too big? Like 5.2 meters long. What do you guys think? Is it too big or? Well, asking me? Yeah, I'm asking you and asking Hans Vida. Whoever wants to answer. It can never be too big. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> it can. I, I don't think the target group uh, thinks this one is too big. No, no. If you think this is too big, go buy a ID4 or something. Yeah, RD3, go buy a Renault Zoe. But did you feel that when I gave it some uh, throttle, like tire scrubbing? It may just be we're on the uh, Nokians and I don't know, outside oh, temperature oh, is- Winter tires, brand yeah, new. Brand new. Uh, important to remember. 
Yeah, no, that wasn't too bad. But it, yeah, it doesn't feel fast. This is, they didn't want to give us the weight, but I think this is like closer probably to three tons, right? Um, 2.5, I think. Yeah. You don't think it's more? The BYD Tang is 2.5. Yeah, this is like half main, a meter longer is, uh, in the battery. The the yeah. The That's what she said also. Okay. Hmm. What drive mode do you have? Uh, we're in comfort, so maybe we can adjust it to sport, and then we have to. So what we do is we press here, and then we scroll with these wheels. We have sport, uh, all road, off road, and then you just uh, choose to you confirm here. But these screens are nice. These are very nice screens. So again, I've been driving the BYD Tang, which is okay. I mean, that's an impressive car at this price point. But these are so clear. Let's give it some throttle here. Yeah, it's a little bit slow to pick up. Is it the uh, the programming or is it are these induction motors? Maybe they didn't say anything, right? I'm not sure. You're not sure. My guess is that they program a car like this yeah. to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. Good and point. That's the main thing. I mean, you can feel the power, but it's not discomforting. Yeah. It's not like you feel any pain in the neck or anything. Yeah. I mean, it's a luxury car. Wow, this is so. I'm, I've been driving a little bit now, but these other guys are going to have to drive. So I'm going to hop in the passenger seat, feel like what it feels like from the passenger seat, and let uh, one of the other guys drive. Dude, Chris. Yes. You used to own a fat e -tron. I still have a fat e-tron. It's still for sale, guys. If don't want, well, well, nobody wants to buy it yet. But yeah. Chris, you used to own mm -hmm. a fat e-tron. Did you have double glazed window on it? Uh, yes. I almost feel like this is more quiet than a fat e-tron. It is extremely it's, quiet. It, yeah, it's, if it's not more quiet, it's very close. Oh, it, oh, it, yeah, oh, so oh. where I notice, I think it's like road noise wise, like tire noise is as good as the e-tron, but I think it has a tad bit more wind noise. Oh, okay, well, maybe. Just a tad, if there's any difference, it's very small. Like no. No, it, it doesn't sound like acoustic glass. Yeah, it's too uh, hollow. But still, this is quiet. Mm -hmm. This Very is really impressive. quiet. Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't matter. This, like, fully spec like this is 821,000 kroners. Oh, well, I'm just going to exit here. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, we're just going to exit here. Okay. Let's Damn see. Chinese can't drive. I mean, Asians. Damn yeah. Asians. Let's you know what's Asians, me and Bjorn? <laughs> Ooh, I'm now in the rear seats and wow, this is one comfortable place with these adjustable headrests and Hans Vida is now driving, he's daddy and Bjorn is mommy okay. and I'm just, you know, an obedient child because how can you complain and be a brat when you have this level of comfort and space? Yeah, I'm just gonna sleep here for a little bit guys and I'll catch up with you at the end of the video and let's sum up this test drive of the Okay guys, we're here at the end of the video. So this was just a few hours with the Hong Shi ES9. But I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of the front end. It's still growing on me and it is very big, but the proportions are a little bit more large station wagon than proper SUV. Though the rear end is pretty nice and the interior is super impressive. It drives super impressive. It's quiet, it's comfortable. So for me personally, it actually ticks off a lot of boxes. It's just some of the exterior design elements and proportions I'm not too sold on. But I'll have to, you know, test this car later on in the year. If we're lucky, we'll get, you know, cars for long-term testing in December in a few months. But this was just, you know, a short and quick test drive. But at this price point, starting at just about 600,000 kroners, this fully equipped at 821. I don't know, that's super impressive. That's the price of my e-tron, and it's not even, my e-tron isn't even fully spec, my big e-tron. This is fully decked out at this price. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below, and for more car content, as always guys, please subscribe. See you guys later, and goodbye.